In this problem, we're being asked to solve an equation for the variable y. And we've got multiple occurrences of y on the same side of the equal sign and uh, numbers on both sides of the equal sign. To solve a problem like this one, you're going to first try to combine any like terms. Then you're going to get the x term alone on one side of the equation, either by adding or subtracting something else. And then finally, you're going to divide by whatever the x term is multiplied by. Let me show you how that works. Uh, on the left side of this equation, we have like terms. We have 3y and 4y. Those can be added together. 3 plus 4 is 7, so that is 7y. And then we have our plus 37 and our equals 9. So that's combining the like terms. Next, we want to get the x term, or in this case, the y term. Let's fix that. We'll get the y term alone. The variable term is really what it should say. So I want this alone. I have to get rid of this 37. To get rid of it, I do the opposite. It says plus 37, so I subtract 37. But the laws of algebra say whatever I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do the other. So we'll subtract 37 over here as well. On this side, 37 minus 37 is 0. So I can just write 7y. And here we have 9 minus 37. So that is going to be a negative 28. Now, we've gotten the y term alone. We're going to divide. The reason we divide is because this y is being multiplied by 7. So we need to undo that by doing the opposite of multiplication. Division is the opposite of multiplication. So we divide both sides by 7. Here, they cancel, leaving just y. And here, I get negative 28 divided by 7. Well, that is a negative 4. So I get y equals negative 4. So that is how to solve an equation when you've got multiple occurrences of the variable and numbers on both sides of the equation.